All right. Welcome, everyone. It's the Jenkins Platform Special Interest Group. I'm here, Alex Searles on the line. Uh, we're going to go ahead and look at the agenda that we've got today. So today's session will start with a review of the open action items. Then we had a slot available for Natasha to talk about Plugin Installation Manager. We'll defer that, she's not available. We'll defer the talk from Oleg on release drafter, although I can give a brief on it. Uh, JDK tool will defer. Oleg won't be available to attend today. Then Alex is with us for Windows installer status. We'll talk briefly about Jenkins World upcoming. And then we've got, uh, let's see, Alex, did you want to add a topic on Docker MultiArch project status? Yeah, that'd be great. Okay, super, thanks. And maybe what we could do, Alex, is put that early on because I think that is probably as a hot to hotter topic than many of the other topics. And then if you had to drop off, you could you could would not be nearly as badly missed as if we couldn't hear your status report on multi arch. All right. So in terms of action items, I've still got the open item to open the JEP for Docker operating system support. Oleg, likewise, on Windows support policy. Alex, we had one topic for you on code signing infrastructure with Olivier Vernin. Uh, any progress you want to report there? No, I, I still need to reach out to Tracy um, at, at the CDF to see if there's um, a process or if they thought of a process for um, getting code signing certificates. Um, I, I know it'll affect Oblock as well, or uh, Olivier as well. And um, he is on vacation for a few weeks still. So I, I don't want to do too much because I don't want to do something that will um, cause him issues, but I do want to kind of get the ball rolling. So I'll, I'll contact her this week for sure. Great. Yeah, wait for Olivier's return from his vacation seems very reasonable. Then next action item was on the Community Bridge Project. Uh, delighted to note that the funding was approved in yesterday's, uh, funding was approved in yesterday's uh, Jenkins governance meeting for the first experimental project, for this first, the first trial project. So that's operating, looks good. Then next topic was, I was to propose a talk, platform talk for DevOps World for the plat for the community booth. I've sent that proposal to Alyssa Tong just today, um, but it's in progress. We'll see if we can squeeze it in. Then cancel the 15 August platform SIG meeting is done. We will not meet in two weeks. Our next meeting will be four weeks from today. And look for a better platform SIG time and date for participant schedules. I'll send the doodle today on that. So I think, Alex, if you want to give us a status next on Docker MultiArch. Yeah, so um, the permissions are fixed now. Uh, what, what the problem was is that there was uh, folder level credentials set up with the same name in the, the packaging folder on ci.jenkins.io and they were wrong. Um, so they, it had the same ID, but it was uh, incorrect. Uh, so Tyler um, went in and deleted the, the folder level credentials and um, then the, the push started working. Um, however, um, there are a couple other things that are issues. One is the time limit. Uh, we had it set at 40 minutes, but it takes a significantly longer amount of time because there are so many different architectures and so many versions that are being built. Um, so I submitted a PR for that. Uh, now we're running into disk space issues um, on, on the, um, the build agents. So I, I, I'm not sure exactly what to do with that yet. Um, uh, disk space issues on the agents is kind of a, an issue for a lot of builds from what I've seen. I've seen things fail just because of disk space issues. So I'm, it's kind of a general infrastructure issue, um, but I'm not sure what the solution is gonna be. I, I have a, an idea that I can um, 
basically do a delete of the local image once it's pushed uh, to the doc to Docker Hub uh, to free up at least that space. But um, I haven't um, I haven't done that yet. So. Okay. Yeah, I had done some cleanup on my own using automated tests to hide a cleanup step, but that's really an infra team topic. Excellent. Anything else on Docker multi arch, Alex? Uh, no. So, I, but I think uh, some images are being pushed. So I think the um, the big ones that people were asking for, I think, were ARM sixty four and S three ninety X. I think that's what it is. Uh -huh. I believe those are, are getting pushed successfully um, right now, even though I think it's later architectures that get um, broken, uh, or not broken, but not pushed because of the disk space issue. So we may, depending on what, um, I think it was Durgadas that um, really wanted S390X support. So he may be able to do what he needs to do at this point uh, with what's being pushed. That's great. All right. Thank you very much. Anything else that you wanted to report there? Um, I do have um, permissions on the Docker Hub Jenkins for Eval repository or organization now. Um, so I am doing some pushes of some of the Windows stuff least to get kind of a seed going so that we can start hopefully doing um, builds of the Windows Docker containers on ci.jenkins.io. Um, the then goal is to have to convert the, um, the Azure virtual machines into Azure container instances, um, which are, they, they come up faster and you can, um, they're, they're basically Docker instances, so you don't run into a lot of the issues you do it with a virtual machine. So that's for ci.jenkins.io? Correct. And also eventually for Trusted as well so that we can do the Windows installer um, build on there as well. Excellent. We can already do that now, but this is a little bit better way of doing it, I think. So the idea is initially ci.jenkins.io, eventually trusted.jenkins.io whatever it's called, trusted-ci, if I remember is the name, isn't it? Right. Okay, I don't have access to it, therefore I never remember the name. Excellent, that's great. Anything else? Uh, no, that's all right now. Super, thank you, thank you. So I think you've already covered in what you just said, also the Windows installer status. Anything else that you wanted to report on Windows installer status? Uh, no, I mean, I'm getting some feedback from Daniel Beck in terms of like things that people would like to see in, in, in terms of security updates. And I'm making those updates and kind of figuring things out, but um, really it's waiting on the code signing to get it out in the hands of people to use. Ah, oh, okay, good, all right. And so that will continue waiting, just like we'd noted earlier. Thanks very, very much. Great. All right, next topic then, Jenkins World, DevOps World 2019. Um, I've sent the proposal in for a platform talk. I know that the Google Summer of Code Lightning talk is in, in plan, in progress. We've also got a, uh, I've got a Git lightning talk that I'll be doing. So the platform team will be, the platform special interest group will be represented in interesting ways at Jenkins World. Uh, unfortunately, Alex, you won't be there. I know Oleg won't be there. So physical presence, Martin, Martin of the Google Summer of Code team will be there. So we've got some representation, but not as much as we've had in past years. I think that covered all the topics that I had hoped to cover today. Alex, are there any other topics that you'd like to cover? Uh, no, I think that's all. All right. I'm going to shut down the recording, and thanks very much. I'll upload this. Have a great day today. All right. You too. Thanks, Mark.